Hey, what up everyone? It's Slender. Today we've got an update. They are bringing back the Barnacles and Black Powder Expedition. Well, I don't even know if they ever took it away. We never got it, right? But in any case, yeah, it's coming back or it is being introduced um, today at 11 p.m. Pacific. So that's uh, 2 o'clock p.m. for us East Coast people. And uh, let's just go ahead and read it. So Expeditions Black Barnacles and Black Powder, Ahoy Matey, the brand new Barnacles and Black Powder Expedition and the new Mutation set are now available. Swing by Cutlass Keys to start your next exciting adventure. Uh, notable fixes, fix an issue that caused PvP arenas and other modes to count toward Expedition run limits. And fix an issue that caused open world combat music to override Expedition music. Now we also have a couple big updates here, or big change, not a big change, but a big fix, and that's uh, server transfers. There's been a bunch of server transfer errors and problems and just, you know, having to find workarounds. And, you know, right now I'm stuck on uh, El Dorado and can't come back home because of one of the, the errors. So notable fixes. Fix a handful of rare server crashes and errors. Fix an issue that caused world transfer conditions to falsely report as not met. Players should now be able to use world transfer tokens if all conditions are truly met. So... Um, what they're talking about is, you know, you were you were not able to transfer because it gave you an error during the transfer process saying you had um, active trade post orders still. And even, you know, when you didn't, you don't have any sell orders, any buy orders, it still would say that you did and you couldn't transfer. You had to do the workaround and go to a fast travel shrine, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then now what I'm getting and several other people are getting is it says you have too many characters on the destination server so you have to go and delete them but there's no characters to, to delete so we'll see if that one's fixed as well that would be pretty cool if they fixed both of them but it sounds like they're all they've only fixed the one so i think more people need to get on the on the forums and start you know letting them know hey we're getting this problem we need it fixed but who knows we'll see um, fix an issue that caused hidden stashes to drop under certain con circumstances. They are intended to be on hiatus and should not appear during the summer event. Added a speculative fix for an issue that caused far away players and objects to appear frozen. We will continue to monitor the forums to see if players are still encountering this issue after the update. Both world and regional transfers now have a three day cooldown after use. We will continue to monitor the results of this change to see if further adjustments are necessary. UX, UI, and social. So trading posts fixed a visual issue impacting music sheet description text within the buy panel of the trading post. Uh, quality of life, improved visual polish for the song selection menu during a musical performance. In game store fixed an issue that prevented the color of the divine vengeance weapon skin from showing accurately the store preview will now match the weapon skins true color and notable fixes improved confirmation messages when rebinding keys to the space bar yes thank you for your support we'll see you in a tournament improved so the improved confirmation messages so what was happening is if you try to bind the space bar to a different key there was no confirmation there was just an error saying it was you know already being used by the music ui or something so hopefully they're talking about that you know being fixed as well so can't wait got a couple more hours i think and we'll find out or an hour and 20 minutes so one hour 20 minutes uh did they say how long it was going to be down though let's see uh begin 11 p.m I mean, usually it's about two hours to what, 90 minutes? I would I would assume it's probably going to be about two hours. So just to be safe, we'll probably be up and running back at 4 o'clock Eastern, you know, um, 1 o'clock Pacific. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll see, and uh, we'll see how many errors they actually did fix. But good news, good news. We get our dungeon, and we get a bunch of uh, server transfer errors back. Because I want to get back to Castle of Steel and start running some dungeons. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And you all have a great day. We'll see you in a tournament. Bye, guys.